Welcome again to another presentation by the Light of Zion. Uh, the Light of Zion is a God's word. And our God's word will continue to, to shine the light to show us the way to walk, to show us where we are standing at the stream of time. And it will show us how far we have to go until we reach our destination. And our destination is to return and be with our God in Zion, where we will serve the one that has chosen us to be chosen us to be his people. So again I say to you, welcome to the light of Zion. Today I'm coming with, to you with another presentation and this one is titled, Can a man make himself gods when they are not? Yes, can a man make themselves gods when in reality they are not really his? That's an interesting question. Well, that is the question that was raised by Prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 20. There it is written, can a man make, God, make gods for himself when they are not really gods. Really saying that can a man make themselves gods when they are not really gods. So let's break down this presentation as we go. A good question to ask is who is this man? Who is this man that wants to make himself gods? Up to belong to God when they are really not gods. Who is this man? Well, the phrase a man as used in the scriptures refers to a people group. And as and this is confirmed by the use of the word they in that statement, he said, they are not really his. So the phrase a man is really referring to a people group. There's a group of people that are trying to claim that they are gods, but they are not really his children. Yes, that is what the light of Zion is showing. They are claiming to be God, but they are not really His. They are not really His. So they do not really belong to Him. So that this people group do not belong to God, but yet they are misleading others to think that they belong to Him. So if they do not belong to God, then where did they come from? Where did this people group come from if they did not belong to God? Well, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 20, there is written, So then by their fruits you will recognize those men. So by their fruits, you will recognize who is who. So the Messiah said that by their fruits, you will identify those men of the Bible. You will identify by their fruits who is Jacob or Israel descendants. And by their fruits, you will identify who is Esau or Edom and his descendants. By their fruit, you will identify those who are of the serpent seed or children of the devil. Oh, you did not know that the devil produced offspring or children. Yes, the devil produced 
offspring. So who are those, these men who are the devil's offspring or the devil's children who are they that are of the offspring of the devil and doing the will of their father, the devil, and yet they are claiming to be gods. Who are these people? Who are who is this man? We are going to identify them as we go through this uh, presentation. Who wants who want to make himself gods? Well, in the book of Genesis, chapter three, verse fifteen, there it is written, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring so he will crush you he will crush your head and you will strike him in the hill so from that decree that Yahuwah God made in the garden of Eden, Eden at Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 two branches of people group emerge from Adam and Eve the group that will obey God and loyally serve the will of God, their Father. And the other group is the group that will serve loyally the will of their Father, the devil. So because God from Adam and Eve will produce offspring or children, and the devil also, the serpent, will from Adam and Eve produce also children that will listen and obey and serve his will. So these two groups will continually be in enmity with each, each, each other until the children of God crushes the head of the children of the devil, of the serpent. And the children of the serpent will bruise the heel of the children that God raised up. That is what the light of Zion is showing, is showing or teaching us. Yes, the children of the devil will bruise the heel of the children of God, and the children of God will at the end crush the head of the children of the serpent, the devil. In the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 33 to 34, there is written, either make Either you make the tree fine and its fruit fine, or you make the tree rotten and its fruit rotten. For by its fruit the tree is known. Offspring of vipers, how can you speak good, good things when you are wicked? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So the Messiah said that is either the tree is a fine tree and produce fine, fu fine fruits, or it is a rotten tree and produce rotten fruits. So you cannot be from a rotten tree and expect to go, you cannot go to a rotten tree and expect it to produce good fruits. No. But offspring of the vipers or offspring of the serpent, the devil, they speak good things, but really they are full of wicked things. That is what the Messiah is saying. That the offspring of the devil, they speak, they, come, they will come and speak good things. But inside them, they are full, full of wicked things. So the children of the devil will come as angels of light. They speak good things, but they are really full of wicked things. They will present themselves as belonging to God, but they are not really his. They are of the devil. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44 to 47, there is written, You are from your father the devil, 
and you wish to do the weak desires of your father. That one was a murderer when he began, and he did not stand fast in the truth, because the truth is not in him. When he speaks the lie, he speaks according to his own disposition, because he is a liar and the father of the lie. Because I, on the other hand, tell you the truth, you do not believe me. So who of you convicts me of sin? I speak truth. Why is it that you do not believe me? The one who is from God listens to the sayings of God. The one who is this the one who is from God listens to the sayings of God. This is why you do not listen, because you are not from God. So Yahushua the Messiah said it clear that the children of the devil wish to do the desire of their father the devil. Hmm. Let us sink in. The children of the devil wish to do the will of their father, the devil. He said, that one is a man's liar from beginning and a liar. Remember, the devil told, told lie to, to Eve, to mislead Eve in the Garden of Eden. That caused the fall of the first human pair. So that the devil, the serpent, is a murderer. Even when he speaks the truth, he's, he's full of lies. Because there is no truth in him. So, the children of the devil, the children of the serpent, the serpent seeds, the offspring of the devil wants to make themselves to belong to God, even when they are not gods. And that's what Jeremiah is saying. Can a man make himself gods when really they are not gods? So who wants to make himself gods? Well, in the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse three, it is written: "So let no one mislead you astray in any way, because it will not come unless the apostasy comes first, and the man of lawlessness gets revealed, the son of destruction." So we are warned not to be misled by. Not to be misled into apostasy by this man of lawlessness. Again, here the phrase is used a man representing a group of people, a people's group that will come and bring in lawlessness and do things not according to the laws of God, but according to their own. Desire. So this man of lawlessness, the offspring of the serpent, or the children produced by the devil, in the starting from the in Genesis chapter 3:15, they will come and invade and mislead the children of God and lead them into what apostasy and into destruction. That is what the children of the devil will come and do to mislead the children of God, to lead them into apostasy and lead them into destruction. Remember their father, he has been a, a manslayer from the beginning and they, their children wants to do the same thing to the will of their father, which is cause the destruction or misleading of others, the children of God. They are of their father, the devil. 
and the, the, their father is using them to cause misleading of the children, the chosen ones of God, the offspring of God. So in the book of John chapter 10, verse 10, there is written, this man said the thief does not come unless it is to steal and slay and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. Yet it's again this thief, the man, referring to a people group, will come in to do what? Steal the children of God, kill them and destroy them. That is the intention, their intention, and that is the plan of their father, the devil, to, because he is a man slayer from the beginning. So this thief will come, the Messiah say, will come to steal, to kill, and to, to destroy the children of God, the offspring of God. For he came by him that the offspring of God might have life and have it abundantly. So the man of lawlessness and the children of the devil will come and bruise the bruise Israel, the offspring of God of God, and then impose themselves as the ones belonging to God, even though they are not really his. Again, that's why Jeremiah said, can a man make himself go when they are not really his? But the children of the devil, the offspring of the devil will come, kill, destroy, and take over the inheritances or inheritance of his, the offspring of God, and claiming that they are now gods, that they belong to God. So in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 6 to 12 there is, is written said now you know what is acting as a restraint so that he will, he will be revealed in his own due time True the mystery of lawlessness is already at work but only the one but only until the one who is right now acting as a restraint is out of the way then indeed the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord, Yahushua, will do away with by the spirit of his mouth and bring to nothing by this manifestation of his presence. But the lawless one's presence is by the oppression of Satan with every powerful works and lying signs and wonders and every unrighteous deception of those who are perishing as a retribution because they did not accept the love of the truth in order that they might be saved. That is why God let a deluding influence mislead them so that they may come to believe the lie in order that they all in order that they all may be judged because they did not believe the truth but took pleasure in unrighteousness. So yes, this man of the lawlessness, which is the, this people group, it was foretold that they will come at the, apostles, at the apostles' time. He has already started to show, 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 show that these ones are coming to take over the inheritance belonging to the offspring of God, Israel. And the scriptures here mention that their presence is what? By the oppression of, the, of Satan, with every powerful work and lying signs. So the devil their father is the one bringing them to take over the inheritance belonging to the chosen people of God, the offspring of God. 
and they will come with lies, lying wonders, and with powerful works, to create deceptions, to mislead many to their destruction. So, yes, that is the, what the children of the devil, or the offspring of the devil, have done. They want to make themselves God. Gods, even though they are not gods. So why, why is it that the man of lawlessness wants to make himself gods? Why is it that the man of lawlessness wants to make himself gods? Well, notice at Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, there is written again, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will crush your head, and you will strike him in the heel. So, there's a judgment that has been decreed by God, and that is that the children that he produced, the children of God, will crush the head of the children of the serpent. Even though the children of the serpent will bruise the heel of the children of God, but at the end, the children, offspring of God, will crush the head of the children of the devil. So at Matthew chapter 23, verse 33, there is written, Serpents, offspring of, offspring of vipers, say, so how will you flee from the judgment of Gehenna? So the Messiah made it clear that the children are the offspring of the serpent, the devil, they are trying to flee from the judgment of destruction that is coming for them. Because according to what is prophesied, their head will be crushed. So he said, how will you flee from the judgment of Gehenna? They are trying to escape that judgment. That's why they are trying to make themselves gods. So the Messiah confirmed it that the children of the serpent, the devil, will face the judgment of everlasting destruction that is, has been decreed for them. At Matthew chapter 3 verse 7, when he caught sight of many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to, to the baptism, he said to them, You offspring of, of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the coming wrath? So again, <laughs> the Messiah said that they are these ones, the offspring of the vipers, of the devil, of the serpent. They are trying to escape the wrath that is coming, that has been decreed for them. They are trying to escape the wrath. So they try to make themselves belong to God, but they are not really gods. So the descendants of the devil, the dragon, has been trying to make themselves gods to or appear to belong to God when they are not really his. They are serving the will of their father, the devil. They are serving the will of their father, the devil. So the prophet Jeremiah was right when he asked, he asked the question at Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 20. He said, can a man make himself gods when they are really not gods? Can they make themselves belong to God when they are not really his children? In the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 17, there is written, For there is nothing hidden 
that will not be manifest, that will not become manifest, nor anything carefully concealed that will not become known and not come to the open. So this has been hidden from many people. Well, many have been misled into thinking that we are all children of God. No. There are those who are offspring of the devil who wish to do the will of their father, the devil. And there are the offspring of God that are created to serve the will of their father, their father God. But the offspring of the devil are trying to claim, trying to make themselves gods when they are not really his. Yes, they are trying to make themselves gods when they are not really his. They speak good things, but inside them they are really wicked things because they are like their father, the devil. So God allowed for the offspring of the God allowed for the offspring groups to mix, but wait and meet it. So God decreed that the two group to offspring or branches of humanity, of humans will mix both with an enmity towards each other. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 there it says, And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between the, your offspring and her offspring. So he will crush your head and you will strike him in the heel. As Zechariah chapter 8 verse 10 and to 12 is written, For before that time there was, there were no wages paid, paid either for, ma for man or for beast, and it was not safe to come and go because of the adversaries, adversary. For I had, for I turned all men against one another. So before the civilization of society, before people's humans started to mix. God said he turned everybody's, everybody against each other. The children of the devil and the children of God do not mix. Yes, before civilization, he turned every man against each other. So the devil of the, the children of the devil were on their own and the children of the offspring of God was also growing on their own. But in this last, but after some time, God allowed for the offspring of both the devil and of the God to mix together. Now you can come and that's what we call civilization. You work for each other and you, pay, you get paid. That's what it's trying to say. But there was a time the offspring of the devil and the offspring of God would not mix. But let a God allow for the mixing of the offspring. But yet, even though the offsprings are mixed together, the enmity between the two groups will continue to exist until what is has been decreed has is carried out. So even though my kind has mixed the offsprings, the enmity between the children of God and the children of the devil are still there. And we continue to exist until what is decreed is carried out. So the question is this, for a long time, before the mixing of the two offspring of Adam and of Eve, God turned all men against one another, but later he allowed for the group to mix 
with one another. So the children of the devil are trying to flee from their final end, which is extermination by mixing and hiding among the children of Israel, or the children of God, Israel. So they, they are trying to escape their final outcome for the children of the devil, the serpent. For it is decreed that the children of God will at the end crush the head of the children of the serpent. So they are trying to escape this final judgment. Therefore, they are mixing and hiding themselves with the children, the offspring of God, Israel. So, this offspring, this offspring children of the devil has been misleading the entire inhabited earth with their lies and propaganda, saying that all are children of God, even though they are not saying, even though they are not saying that God loved everyone, even though they know it is not true. So, like their father, the devil, they keep telling lies that everyone, everybody, everybody is God's children. But well, really, that when everybody is not, they say that everybody, every God loves everyone. When really God does not love everyone. So like their father the devil, they still continue to carry out the will and the desires of their father the devil. <clears throat> they therefore impose themselves and exalt themselves in places of worship, claiming to become to belong to God. That is what the children of the devil the serpents are doing, imposing themselves into places of worship, claiming, exalting themselves, and claiming that they belong to God, but really they are not. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 31 to 33 is written, for, for their rock it's not like our rock. Even our enemies have understood this. For their vine is from the vine of Sodom and from the terraces of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of poison. Their cluster are bitter. Their, their, vi their wine is the venom of serpents, the cruel poison of cobra. So yes, even in Deuteronomy chapter 32, Moses identified or, or told Israelites that the gods that the, of the nations is different from the gods of the Israelites. So like the Messiah said, they serve the, their father the devil. They are the offspring of the devil. And they are doing the will of their father the devil. But the Israelites is Israel is the offspring of God to serve the will of God. So can a man be God, be God, when in be gods when in reality they are not? Yet yeah, that is what the man of lawlessness has done. That is what the man of lawlessness has done. But he will be removed at the return of Yahushua from heaven. For Yahushua will crush the head of the offspring of the serpent, the devil, at his return. That is what is written. Yes, the man of lawlessness has come in and has exalted himself among the, among the offspring of God, claiming to belong to God. But he is being exposed 
because there is nothing hidden that will not come to light. And the scripture is being brought to light as to what is written. There is a man who wants to belong to God, but really they are not his, but they are the offspring of the devil. So yes, again the question is, can a man make himself God when in reality they are not really his? So until I come to you next time, keep studying, keep examining the scriptures, keep seeking for light of understanding from our God, keep seeking insight so that you will become enlightened. So until I come to you next time, peace and remain blessed.